This thing goes like a rocket. Hello, this is Sausage Fingers and welcome back to Space Engineers. Right, yesterday we built our little base and we built the very, very rough shell of our ship in this episode. I am going to increase the efficiency of the refinery with refinery increasing efficiency things and the assembler because they are using a lot of power and a lot of they i'm going to get more resources out of them basically cutting the log story short i'm going to attach all this malarkey via the amazing thing that is conveyors also i am going to lead a lot more ores and stuff to that end i'm going to need some kind of moving receptacle or vehicle if you like to carry said ores otherwise i can only use my inventory so yes we are going to build all of that in this episode today yes and i'm going to squeeze it all in because i can right firstly i'm going to build the power efficiency module yes i am i think i may have enough stuff that's massive bosh can I put loads on this or not? I definitely want the power efficiency module. I don't know how big the yield module is though. I really like the yield module. Small steel tube and power cell. Same I presume. Oh, and steel plate. In fact, I don't need a yield module on that. I just need the efficiency module, don't I? I think. Ah, oh, poo! Superconductor. Power cells. Right, my everything is pretty much blocked up now because I've run out of cargo space. I'm going to have to build a large cargo thing and add that for my list of jobs to do today. And I'm going to have to fit in my conveyor system. I'm going to have to do that first. I'm having real, real issues with inventory. So let's get that done first, I think. There is a thing on the side of this. I might... Let's see how big this cargo is. Large, I want large. Smash this up here. Bosh. I'm not worried about how tidy this is, really. Because this is just our holding platform for holding things. The mousey wheel, do the mousey thing. Put that there. And spin that round like that and do that. And some of this. More interior plate is required. cannot pick up yet. I'm going to have to balance these about a bit. There, they've gone green, they're working. So my cargo is now at attached to my assembler, so it shouldn't block up as long as I've got space in my cargo thingy. Right. Interior plate, still need a million and stuff. Bosh, now I'm going to connect that to there. I'm going to stick a junction box on it. Like that. And on there. A curvy one, like this. And some of this. And now all of my cargo issues are solved. Now, because they are attached via a conveyor, I can go into here and move that down into my large container. Yes, that makes me happy. Mm, happy. Alrighty then. Because how do I make superconductors? Um, let's go production, search, super, iron and gold. Ooh. Oh, okay. I can get gold. A badger suit. Didn't I already get the badger suit? I don't know. I think I have. Mm. Now this is going to die. Back 
to work. Tell you what, it's an odd day in the office being a space engineer, you know? An odd day in the office. 20 of the superconductors. Production. There they are. Only 0 0.20. So, one, three, that should drag that across. I've already got enough to build that. Happy day, son, happy day. What's this? Thruster comp? Oh, thrusters. I'm a badger. I am a badger. Badgery. Right, now for some kind of vehicular vehicle. I'm going to need another big hard standing for this. Construction comps and motors, okay. Sweet. Alrighty. Now we're going to fly when we're building this. The reason I build this up on a brick is so that I can get underneath the vehicle. Yeah, I like getting underneath the vehicle. There, that's the bottomy bit done. Hmm, bottomy bit. Now, mouse wheel scrolling thing. Uh, put that there. Oops, oops, oops. Uh, um, um, it's all going wrong. I really wish you could do like in creative mode you can do line creation so I could just hold down the mouse button and go click 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 and it'd make a massive line of stuff. You can't do that in the survival mode. That's a shame. I wish you could. Later on I will build a welding, well, not today, but at some point I will build a welding ship so you can have a little spaceship or a little in-atmosphere ship that actually welds for you with a little welding machine on the front. We have got so much to do. I've got a good friend CD who's at, uh, CT who's actually building a space elevator at the moment. It's all gone a bit tragically wrong for the time being, but I'm sure we will succeed at some point. This is just crazy. You can actually build machine, you can build an autonomous mining ship and it will, it will recharge at your base and then go off to a designated area, mine, come back when it's full up and empty out into your refinery, recharge, then go and mine again. Oh, it's just amazing the stuff you can build. Amazing. Amazing. Right, I want a different block this time. I want this one. Nah, that one. Like... Not that way. Like that way. Like that I want. Yeah. Yeah. 
I think I like that. I think I like it there. I'm not sure. I'm not putting glass in. It still looks done. Apparently you only need glass if you're going... If you need it oxygenated, as it were. Like, into space and stuff. Where's the holes on the back of that? That works for me. That does. The only reason I'm putting this on is because this goes towards the look of the vehicle as well. I'm not quite sure how I want this to look yet, but it's going to look nice. One. Two. Large steel tube. Only two of them. Gyros help with your turniness, your manoeuvrability. Yes. Yes, they do. I found it, I found it. There it goes. Yeah, a graffiti drill. Ooh, I'm intrigued. Look at it, being all graffiti-like. I'm going to change some other tools as well. Veteran welder. Um, badger grinder. Badgery. Carpet. That's stupid. Cow. Now that's a lot more serious. Rifles. Well, you don't get more dangerous than a leopard. Hmm. Now I'm hoping there's some kind of cornery bit that fits in there. There is. Look. Cornery bit. That's not right, is it? Or is it? It is. That looked a little bit mental. Okay, that doesn't matter. Do you know what? I think these wheels are too small. I'm going to try the 5x5 five five wheels. We haven't met Lord Clang yet, but I'm sure he'll be alright. I'm sure he'll like us. So I'm going to go here, wheels. I'm going to go 5x5. Five five. Where are you? 5x5, five five, right. Bosh. Now, they're wheels. Alrighty, I don't really know how high this thing's going to be at the moment. The largest thing on my thingy, my Jiminy, is going to be the large container. So I'm going to pop that in now. And that'll give me an idea of what height I'm working with. Uh, eight motor. Okay, I'm going to stick a conveyor on the back of that as well. Uh, do that now. Not a conveyor, connector. Put one on the back. And one on the bottom. There. How far is that poke out? Not that far. Motor and construction comp. Slap that on. Slap that on. Do I have two large cargo? I think I might. I have got a lot of room on this thing. A lot of room. We're going to have a lot more wheels, remember? Yeah. Yeah, large cargo again. It's kind of sleek, isn't it? I don't know if I like it or not yet. I'm going to do the same on the other side and see how I feel about that. How big is a survival kit? Medical comp 3 and display 1. And a nice little junction box on there, just in case. That should be done. I want, I'm wondering if I can fit two batteries under there. And maybe another battery that side as well. I've actually got power in this thing ready now. I 
could jump in it and give it a little boom boom. I want an O2 H2 generator. Now I think I might have issues here getting the old conveyors on. I might have to take some roof out for a little while. Yeah, they're connected. I'm going to have to leave my power connected. I might have to slap another battery on this because this does drain power. Um, turn them on. I need to see if my connectors are green. If they're not green, it's not good. But they are green, which means they're connected. So that is one O2 H2 generator. I want a H2 tank on this as well. That's nice. That's going to break up the look quite nicely because I want my engines here because they look very cool. Large steel tube. Right, so if I stick some ice in that now. No, I'm going to put engines on first. We've got a lot of space in here. I don't know what else I'm missing. I don't think I'm actually missing anything. Yeah. Yeah. One there, and one there. I haven't connected up to the cockpit yet, have I? No, I haven't. Right, we'll start this off. Get in here. Slap that in, is that right? I think it's right. That's green, we got green people, we got green. Bosh, bosh. We'll slap one of them there, we'll slap one of them there. No, not there. And bendy one, and straighty one, and a straighty one, and a boxy one. Motor. Anything else? No, just motors. That should be green now. Mm. I should be able to turn on my hydrogen engines. I can hear them. Look at them. Very cool. There we go. That's in. Now, a little conveyor. Right, this is a Gatling gun. I want I want some ammo for this. I might not have the stuff to build the ammo, though. Yes, it was. It was an antenna I had. I've got a bacon. Do you know what? That looked quite good there, actually. My NATO standard ammo is cooking over there. Conveyors in here. There. Right, before I put ammo in this thing, I want to... Well, I've got to put wheels on. Yes, let's do, <laughs> let's do wheels. We've still got some finishing off to do here, haven't we? Right, now... I am going to keep this as is for now. In fact, I'm going to put the ammo in because I think it might even take into consideration the ammo as well when you're building stuff. I should have some a NATO ammo box. Yeah. Right, if I go and put that, I could put that in there, I believe. Can I not? Is the power off? Is that why? No, you can only put stuff in there which you can make in there, can't you? So I've got access to my cargo here. I can go into there and put that in there. Now that gun is actually loading. I'm going to run out of H2 because I didn't pick it up. 
And now for the next bit. What I'm going to do is... I've only done this once. Control B. And that should take a screenshot of that. That's what I built in the other game. In my thing. Take a screenshot. Ah, there we go. Right, rename. I'm going to call it... Small wheel cargo for now. Now, when I build a projector at a later date, I don't know if I'm right or not. And I don't even know if I've done that right. If I build a... <laughs> the other one's called the Mining Ship of Love. If I build a small projector, apparently I can... Well, I know I can build that from the projector and it will like if i've got a welder fit up it will automatically do the blueprint and weld it all together for me and stuff as long as i have the stuff in my inventory or the the, the bases inventory i think that's right yeah so i won't ever ever have to design this again i mean this ain't pretty by any stretch of the imagination and i'm gonna work on this but i'm quite happy with it now i need a connector on my base don't i yes what I'm going to do first, I think it's time. Is to get rid of that. Bosh. Yeah, that sits low on the suspension. I can change the ride height. We're going to have issue with bumps there. Oh, I actually really like the look of that. Look at it. Look at it being all sausagey. And I might put the icing on the cake here. I love the black in this game. Yeah. Hold down the middle mouse button. I'm going to hold shift and the middle mouse button. Mmm, sausagey. My connector's not black, damn it. That needs to change. I need to fuel this bad boy up and I need to set up the steering, the suspension, the power and the ride height and all that stuff. But first I need a connector on here. There we go. Let's go get in our little beast. Right, we've got to name this people. What are we going to call it? I mean, it ain't the prettiest vehicle in the world, but I'm, I'm quite happy with this, you know? The engine's not even on. That's just running on hydrogen. I might put a reversing camera on, because I know you can do that. Likes a little wheel spin, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to move that over. I'm going to have to cut off the power to that ship a minute. Right, that thing is recharging like a rechargey thing. can even get to my ship through there to my cockpit to my connector to my large ca large cargo containers look that's in there that's actually draining hydrogen into my base i don't know how to stop that brum brum we're going people we are going it's pretty goddamn skiddy on the ice it's looking good though, ain't it? That is fast. Right, we're going to go off the ice. I want to see how it handles. Jesus. We're doing all right here, aren't we? Yeah, baby. Oh, 
Yeah, <laughs> this thing's a beast. It turns really well. I've got the settings at standard. I haven't done anything with it. Only that ride height. This thing goes like a rocket. We're getting air. <laughs> Oops, that hurt. I just broke something then. Put the handbrake on. What fell out? I actually made a hole in the ground. I think I might have broken that connector at the front. I think that might have to come off. What the hell fell out? I broke something, but I don't know what. I'm going to have to raise this suspension a little bit. Um, something definitely fell off. <laughs> Whoopsie, my bad. Um, oh well. What we don't know won't hurt us. So I know for next time I've got to I've got to raise those wheels up a little bit. But my god it's stable, isn't it? What's it like at off the off the big jumps? Whoa! That blew something up. <laughs> I think that was that connector. Let's go and have a look at our hole in the ground. Handbrake on with P. Jump out. Oh, well that saved us time getting rid of that front connector, didn't it? Yeah, so... Um... <laughs> That's the only issue we've got, is I've got to raise this up a little bit before I knock my cockpit off. I'm well happy with this. You, it, the traction actually changes on the ice. That is so awesome. Well. Oh my god, the brakes are on fully. You can change the friction in the wheels. We've got ourselves a little collection buggy, people. We did it. Let's go and connect her up. I am not even going to tell you how long that took me to make that, but every single second of it was fun. Do. I might dig down a little bit <laughs> and actually get myself a bit of traction or just stop driving like a nutter. There we go. P. Connected. Batteries to recharge. I might not even need the hydrogen for this. I'm not sure. Anyway, people, I hope you enjoyed that. That was a hell of a lot of fun making that. And that is going to make our game so much easier for collecting stuff and things. Now I've got the general idea. I reckon I could knock up another one of them in about half an hour. That took me hours. Hours upon hours. I hope you did enjoy it. I'm all ears, so give me tops and tips. If you did enjoy it, give us a like and a subscribe. Don't forget to press the little bell. Massive thank you to all my patrons. I'll see you soon, people. Laters.